healing body meditations. 30 mandalas to enhance your health and well-being by Mike Ainsley <laughs> with Steve Nibble. So, in each... Okay, so you're getting um, the Steve guys doing the forward. So you're getting an introduction to meditations and mandalas. And then you get seven different chapters and you are kind of, it's almost like the um, pretty much like chakra based. <laughs> you are getting a, um, one for each chakra and then about three or four other ones in that um, chapter. So you're getting about five per chapter. And then, yeah, then they go straight into the index. There's no um, conclusion. So, you are getting like in a lot of, um, a bit of information before um, the chapters begin, like an inter introduction to chakras. Uh, so, and you get um, a pic image of the chakras and then you get the page number that uh, their meditation is on. So you get like practical guidelines, benefits of meditation, and the images are really nice, like really interestingly done. Cause like for a lot of people, imagery is like hit and miss. I'm, I'm not like, oh my gosh, these images are amazing and I'm not totally, oh my gosh, I really on the verge of like hating these. It's kind of like, they're okay. <laughs> um, so you got like a how to use this book. So remember the steps, be open-minded, value your own powers, reflect and focus, and then modify. So feel free to drop or change some of the steps if you prefer. You might even wish to devise your own meditation around a particular mandala. Bear in mind that the opening steps of a meditation, meditation are usually introductory. You can drop them if you wish after your initial acquaintance with a design. Or alternatively, you might prefer to follow the same steps every time if you enjoy them or find them stimulating. So. He gives you kind of like permission if you find come up with your own kind of meditation of that image you can go off of that and so for like the chakras it gives you um information about it so for the root chakra you got the sanskrit name yeah. and then in brackets literal meaning um color element keywords and then like some information and then so this would be the image that um, he uses. So, and then you got different, um, picks out different points on the image as like, um, we'll bring up this part of the image in a certain step like the corner there or the symbol of um, that chakra. So like this one is the next one in. So, and then like it would um, take out different parts of the image and use that in the meditation. So, it's allowing, like, bringing in that image uh, into the meditation. So, if you need a visual in the medita meditation, this can be very helpful because, like, some people 
um, I'm not fully in delved with um, my knowledge in meditations, but some pe I think some people work well with the sound or the audio type of meditations that are out there, but having like the visual there for you because like for some people having like trying to visualize this or visualizing a chakra or something um could be a little hard so that may throw them off so having that visual saying okay here's my visual i can go ahead with the meditation you do have uh like i'm not seeing them add like I'm not seeing any kind of like written that they're adding a disc to this, like a audio disc. So you are having to read this. Like I'm assuming for your own, like for your own personal use recording you or somebody else recording it. So you have that audio. So you aren't looking at the page every single time and you can always own and you could just focus on the image. So you're not flipping because like sometimes you are, you have the image and then you do have to flip back and forth. So um, there is that. So if you're totally in, you have to be aware that you're have to, having to read and sometimes flip, flip a page to the next part of the meditation. So that kind of may throw some people off about getting this book, but it can be helpful to um uh, others but yeah healing body meditations happy readings